Manga Wido. My name is Case K Sudo. I'm 33 years old. I'm just an ordinary businessman, but I work hard every day for the sake of my beloved wife. My wife, Mai, is a career woman who works for a bridal related company. We've talked about having a child when I get a promotion, so now it's just the two of us. One day, Mai's colleague, Takagi san, came to visit. Hello! Welcome! We prepared some drinks, so make yourself at home. Keisuke san is so kind! I envy you, Mai! <laughs> right? Takagi san has a cheerful personality, and we got along after meeting several times. Nowadays, it's not uncommon for me to join them for a drink. The three of us drank together for a while. Well, you two enjoy yourselves! Good night! I was tired from work, so I went ahead and slept in the next room. I usually don't wake up until the morning once I fall asleep, but... <laughs> That's hilarious! I woke up that day to the sound of them laughing, and I found out a shocking truth! Hey, are you sure you're done with that guy? It's over! I haven't seen him for a while! That guy? Over? I mean, now that I think about it, it's pretty brave of you to have a double affair with someone in the same department. Having the same keychain and stuff, it even made me nervous. But he didn't find out about it. Well, I do have some memories and pictures on my old phone, but... You're not over it. Because he's the person I fell in love with more than anyone in my life! I guess it's natural to have an affair when you really love someone. Are you kidding me? After that, they continued talking jovially, unaware that I was awake. I was shaking with anger in the bed, but managed to listen to their conversation until the end. After Takagi left and Mai went to bed, I looked for Mai's old phone. Luckily, it was unlocked, and I could easily check the data. Inside, there were some nasty text messages and photos of them in the act that made me want to turn away. As I checked them, I was able to identify the other man to a certain extent. The man's name was Naoki Maihara. He worked for the same bridal company as Mai. They were together before we got married, but then Naoki left Mai because another woman had a child of his own, and he got married to her. Mai and I were married after that, but she continued the relationship with Naoki, and it ended about four years ago. I'm the only one who didn't know. As far as I knew, even Mai's parents knew about it and kept it from me. I almost fell into despair when I thought of the face that had been smiling at me all this time. I was literally shaking with rage. I'll make them get what they deserve. I started to take action the next day. First, I consulted a lawyer, and then I hired a detective to gather evidence. This led to the discovery of many new facts. I was furious every time I received a report, but on the surface, we continued to live happily as a married couple. After all the evidence had come to light, I decided to strike at once. And a few months later... One day, when everything was ready and I was waiting for the right opportunity, I happened to be on my way to Mai's parents' house. My in-laws, who didn't know about anything, talked to me with a smile. Oh, Keisuke! When are you two going to have kids? That's right, we want to see our grandchildren soon. <laughs> well... I want a kid soon too, but this guy doesn't get promoted at all. Something snapped inside me with that statement. I didn't care about timing anymore. It's true that I haven't been promoted yet, but... I don't intend to have kids with a woman like this anyway. What? What an awful thing to say, Keisuke! That's terrible! Talking about my daughter like that, apologize to my... Yeah! I just want to have a kid as soon as possible. No, no, no. You're the ones who should apologize. Huh? I mean, if you want a child so badly, it doesn't have to be with me, does it? Let's see. How about with Naoki-san? No, 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 Naoki-san? Stop talking nonsense! Keisuke, what are you talking about? What? Are you going to play it off like that? Ah, then please, take a look at this. I showed them the data I transferred from Mai's phone. Then all three of their faces gradually turned pale. I can't believe you are hiding this as a family. We don't know what you're... 
No, no, no. I already know everything. Even the fact that you guys covered for Mai's alimony, demanded by Naoki's wife. What? That's right. Naoki's wife found out about the affair with Mai several years ago. And when Mai was charged alimony, she cried to her parents and asked them to cover most of the bill. Of course, they kept it a secret from me. Ah, how can you say, I want to see my grandchildren, like that? Whoa. But it's over now. That's right, he changed apartments and I haven't seen him in years. It's over. My, is it really over? What? I played back the audio I had recorded on my phone. Yes. It's the conversation when Mai's colleague, Takagi, came to my house. But that plan was crazy! The one where you thought of having your husband raise your child with Naoki! Uh, that one. That failed after all. But he's not getting promoted anytime soon, so I think I'll resume the operation. <laughs> that sounds good! Mai was so pale, she was almost white. Anyway, I'm divorcing Mai. Wait a minute, don't you think it's all an overreaction to get divorced over something that happened so many years ago? That's right! Just when we were finally at peace with our lives! Years ago? Overreaction? I only found out about it recently. Well, I'm sure you'll be hearing from the lawyer soon. You'll just have to wait patiently. H hey I left the three of them stunned. But that was only the beginning. I decided to bury each target, one by one. First, I demanded alimony from Mai's lover, Naoki. Naoki now had two children, and they'd been living happily. Naoki, perhaps relieved that it was all over, got down on his knees to me, crying. Please! Please don't tell the company! Well, I can understand why you'd get so desperate. Next time, it won't be over with a transfer. How do you know? According to the detective's investigation, Naoki's wife was also an employee of this company at the time. And when she found out that her husband had an affair with a co-worker, she went on a rampage within the company. If such an ugly story among employees of a wedding hall were to get out, the company's image would be tarnished. The company, fearing this, paid off Naoki's wife to keep her quiet, and transferred him from the wedding hall. They tried to settle the matter by having Naoki work away from Mai. I'm on thin ice! So please don't tell the company! I'll be happy as long as I get my alimony. Well... Why don't you start looking for a new job while you still can? I think the alimony is going to be pretty expensive. No! Alright, next up... I'm over, Naoki! I'm in love with you now! Huh. I demanded alimony from Mai as well. But Mai just cried, and it wasn't going anywhere. Even if you tell me you love me now, I can't trust the words of someone who's planning to beg for alms. That's... Well, it's also my fault for not noticing it. But leaving all the data on your phone is a little naive of you, don't you think? I heard that even cuckoos can be a little better at begging for alms. Why don't you learn from them? Cuckoos. After that, Mai cried a lot, but the divorce was finalized without incident. I thought I was done with the alimony proceedings, but Mai's colleague Takagi came at me, who had heard the story. What a stupid woman. What are you doing rehashing something that happened four years ago? Oh boy. I'm grateful to you though, you know? What? I was able to find out because you were talking so loud after all. Y you Do you enjoy making my cry? And the statute of limitations on adultery is three years, and yet you still demand alimony. Three years is the time period in which you can claim alimony after you identify the adulterer. It takes 20 years after the infidelity for a claim to be dropped. But good for you to know that the statute of limitations on adultery is three years. I guess people who have affairs have the knowledge. What are you talking about? I've never had an affair! I was researching your company, and your affair came up too. That's... Well, it's not important to me. I can get you a lawyer if you want. I mean, if they find out, they'll probably charge you. <laughs> Alright, up next is... I demanded an apology from my in-laws through my lawyer. But they seemed reluctant to do so, and seemed to be taking my side again. You don't have to go this far! That's right, she's been through a lot. Then think about it. What if the child you were raising as your own turned out to be the child of your wife's lover? Well... 
Can you tell your relatives and neighbors that your daughter is the kind of woman who plans to beg for alms? After that, they continued to argue with their emotional arguments. But I responded to them all with logical arguments. They finally gave up and got down on their knees and apologized. Alright, I was able to claim enough alimony from Naoki and my wife, and I also got an apology from my in-laws. Now all that's left is... A few days later, I had come to the wedding hall where Mai worked at. But I didn't go there myself. I was called over by the president of the bridal company directly. I was taken to the president's office. There, Mai and Naoki were seen with pale white faces and sweat on their faces. I was wondering what was about to happen when the president suddenly bowed his head. Please, please let this matter be settled peacefully. Hey, what are you doing? You guys get down too! Yes? I'm so sorry. Ah, our company is in shambles because of you guys. About that, please take this. And if you'll please forgive us. With these words, the president pulled out a thick envelope. Even without checking the contents, I knew it contained a fair amount of money. We're still newcomers in the industry. We just opened a new wedding hall where we put our company's fortune on the line with a lot of money. If we get any bad publicity now, there could be a lot of cancellations. What will be done with these two? We will fire them and consider a claim for damages. Now, if you could just take this and keep this matter at that. I understand, but I can't take your money. I don't like the idea of you paying me to keep quiet, and I've received enough money from these two anyway. Does that mean... You won't write about this online, right? Well, I'm not that much of a devil. I won't write about it online. Thank you. What a kind-hearted person you are. Come on, bow your heads! If you'll excuse me now. And so, with everything settled, I started my new life with a clear conscience. And a few months later... Oh, what's this? I saw a headline online that said, The wedding hall with the employees involved in a double affair leads to bankruptcy. Oh, they finally went under. The wedding hall was eventually exposed, and cancellations began to pour in. Even couples who had already held their weddings there demanded an apology. The company that had invested the money in the new wedding hall quickly ran out of working capital and went bankrupt. Of course, I kept my word and didn't post it online. I just told a few friends about it for laughs. But I guess you never know when someone's listening in. After that, Mai and Naoki lost their jobs and found themselves on the street. Now they're both living in extreme poverty. By the way, that colleague Takagi was also fired after her affair was discovered prior to the bankruptcy. And what a surprise! Her affair partner was also a colleague at work. It seems that wedding hall was rotten until the very end. That company should have turned it into a wedding hall exclusively for adulterous couples. On the other hand, I got a promotion after that, and everything is going well. I have more time to myself now since I don't have to deal with all the divorce stuff. I've learned a lot about alimony after that one incident. Maybe I'll try to study law. I'm leading a fulfilling life on my own while thinking about that. After all, justice prevails in the end.